Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. With me, your girl, No Fuses. Um, we went through that awesome, like, opening everything, but, uh... I wanted, I wanted to explain what I didn't explain in the last video, because I said I was going to explain about the uh, arresting scene, that messed up arrest scene, but... I didn't, I forgot, that's my bad. So... Basically, what happened was he tried to save a lady from this criminal guy who was trying to like take her wherever he was trying to take her. And when he was trying to help her, I guess uh, he pushed him down and he was like, Oh, I'll sue, even though I'm clearly in the wrong and about to take this lady over to do whatever I want to do with her. I'm just going to blame it on you and ruin your life. That's basically what happened. So he got arrested for helping somebody out. Which is really fucked up. So, back to this, we're basically gonna find a Sojo Sakura. His house should be in the back streets of the Red Desert area. If you guys like this video, then please don't hesitate to give it a like or subscribe to the channel. Alright, this is how you move the camera. I want to ask for directions. If you want to go to the residence of that address, it's in the alley a bit further back. Take a right after that apartment with the stairs. Okay, let's just try to talk to everybody. What do I do? I'll feel under the weather, but I've got an important meeting tomorrow. I thought I'd give this place a shot, but they said they were closed for the day. And it's still so early too. I just can't believe it. Maybe I should go and ask again. Hey, what's happening over here? Hmm? Was there another um accident? I see policemen over there. I was just watching to make sure everyone's safe. It'd be scary if something like that happened again though. Let's hurry home. Oh, this is house. Oh, this is house. The nameplate here says Sakura. It looks like it might be Soju Sakura's house. You even have to ring the doorbell. It doesn't look like anyone will answer the door. How about you ring it again? How about you knock on the door? Maybe he's gone out. Looks like no one's home. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Sakura-san's usually at his cafe around this time. Well, the flong's in the back alley, so I should make my other deliveries first. Do you usually do your inner monologues out loud? Hmm. Next, I need to take this package to... The for the black. There's no time for that. Of course I'm gonna go inside. Where else am I gonna go? A public transit bus was driven down an opposing lane with its customers still in it. Dang. The citizens can't live in peace if this keeps up. Oh, uh, how frightening. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? And down is uh, the name of a shellfish used in pearl farming. Oyster? Oh, right. They did say that was today. We'll be going now. The payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. At that very moment, that's when a car just, just comes through the wall. A what now? 
There's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope that none happen around here. None of my concern. <laughs> well, see you next time. Oh, four hours for just a single cup of joe. Oh, don't you just hate that when you've got customers just sitting there talking and you're just kind of like either order some more food or drinks or something or just get the hell out. <laughs> so, you're the guy. Oh, you're the guy? You don't see my name right there? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have put it in bold. And was there an option to make a lowercase? Oh well, it's done now. Uh-huh. I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up. But you're the one, huh? Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other and not that that matters. Follow me. This is your room. I'll at least give you sheets for your bed. Hmm? You look like you want to say something. <laughs> it's big. It's cluttered. <laughs> If I say Clary, he is just gonna rip into me. So let's just say it's big. It's on you to clean up the rest. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. God dang. Now then. I got the gist of your situation. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? Pretty much. That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? All we did was push him down. And he said, oh, I'll sue. Let me just fake that I broke my neck or something. Like, really, he was not hurt at all. And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. Dang. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. Sojiro, you're just... You're just a walking bottle of sunshine, aren't you? It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Don't worry, I won't spit in your food. Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. Really now? It's the word that applies to you. Your sentence lasts until next spring, right? That's why you're gonna be here for the coming year. Cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? Dang! I mean... There, he only did one thing, it was, and it wasn't even that major. I bet the guy that sued him just made it a big freaking deal to the point where nobody wanted to deal with my boy Akira. Like, I bet that's what happened, because he's making it sound like we, like, did something, like, huge, and now everyone's just kind of like, oh, no, don't mess with that guy. No, don't do that. Like, good God. No one wants to touch him with a freaking 10-foot pole right now. What a waste of my Sunday. No one asked you to take me in. Your luggage arrived a little while ago. I brought it up here for you. I 
I'll be living here starting today. I should check out what's in here. It's a cover box sent from back home. It's full of clothes and daily necessities. I will change it to more comfortable clothes for now. Oh, nice. I'm liking that, yeah. Can I examine it again? I guess I should clean the room while organizing things. Okay. This sofa is covered in dust. Looks like I can still use it, but I'll have to clean it first. It's a desk with a stack of books on top. No one can use this as a desk while it's like this. I should start cleaning first. Yeah, just start cleaning. Oh, we just put the box away? Okay. It's like, it seems like we've been clean for a while. What the heck? I heard you making all sorts of noise up here, but I didn't think you were cleaning. Actually, the place doesn't look too bad. Though it's only natural you'd want to keep your room tidy. Why don't you go to bed for tonight? You don't have anything better to be doing, right? I'm going to close up shop and get out of here myself. I won't be the one looking after you if you get sick from staying up too late. You got that? How to advance time. Going to bed is a special action that will advance time. Time is limited. Uh, I accidentally skipped through it, my bad. Now that the table is clean, I wonder if I can use it for anything. Okay. There are still unused household items lying around. It's not organized at all. We're right here. Nothing? Nothing? Okay. Guess we're... Well, can we go downstairs? I should call it a day and go get some sleep. I saw something that said storage. There we go. Oh, so that's storage. Okay. Go to sleep, I guess that's all I can do. Starting, starting today, this is my room. Arrest. Trial. Criminal record. Damn brat! I'll sue! Still, I couldn't just let that go. I mean, and you, and, and you shit, if you see someone in trouble, like, go help them. It would, it would be the right thing to do. It just sucks how my man here just got screwed over like that. And everyone's just against him. Everyone saw her criminal record or whatever was on it. It was like, oh my god, he's a bad guy. And he just kind of like, yo, you don't even know the full story. How can you just judge me like that? And I bet that's like that for some people out in the world. I'm not going to say all, some people. <sighs> that day, I ended up going home late. Flashback? Just get in the car! Just get in the car. Oh, he has voices. Hmm? I can hear a man and a woman arguing in the distance. I think they're just ahead. Don't give me that shit. I mean, girl, try to sprint or something. Like, he's giving you plenty of openings from what I can see. Like, <laughs> it looks like that drunk man is bothering that woman. Help. Please stop. She's in danger. I can't ignore this. I have to save her. I'm gonna say I can't ignore this. Waste of time. You think you're worth causing me trouble, huh? I'll, I'll call the police. 
Call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not gonna take you Damn. seriously. No! Stop! Shit, I'll take my chances. Kick him in the balls, something. Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car. Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. What are you looking at? Get out of my face. This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car. Like, run, girl. He said, get in the car. Nah. If he looked back at me, he would already see me already going around the block. I would have been gone. Oh, he's mad too. Hmm, it's that weird app that someone ended up on my phone. The icon looks almost like an eye. I thought I deleted it. It's so creepy. Let's say I thought I deleted it. My eyelids are starting to get heavy. Ooh, cutscene. Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. Says demonic voice. So you've come too, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Important matters? Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly MG. are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. I speak of the end to everything. However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? <laughs> For, if this was literally me, I probably would say, wait, what? But considering that we probably have a good feeling what he's talking about, I'm gonna say, I'd rather avoid ruin. Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. 
Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justine. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. Time's up! Now hurry up and go back to sleep! He's like, wait a minute! Sunday. I had a strange dream. Ruin? Rehabilitation? What does it mean? Looks like you're up. Well then, let's go introduce ourselves properly to the staff about your transfer. The school you're attending is in the Aoyama district. It'll take a while to get there by train. The transfers are a real hassle, too. I'll drive you there, but just for today. Let's go. Jeez, men aren't usually allowed in my passenger seat. Well, I'm sorry. Behave yourself, all right? We haven't done anything to you. Like, dang. He's saying, like, behave ourselves. And it's like, dude, we have done nothing but be silent and do whatever you ask so far. Like, what more do you want? Don't get me wrong. I don't care what happens to you. Apparently that's a lie since you're taking care of us. Just don't cause me any trouble. To reiterate, just so we're clear, you will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems. In my opinion, you're nothing but a liability. But we had our circumstances to consider. Whatever you might have gotten away with in your hometown, those days are over. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. This is the teacher in charge of your class. I'm Sadayo Kawakami. Here's your student ID. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Like the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. No, no, no. Rewind. Like, what, what was that? What was that little, uh, that, oh my god, snatch away. Well, I saw that card behind our ID. Hmm. And if by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa? Mm-hmm. He is responsible for all his actions. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. It was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? Even Sojuro is tired of this. I got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Well, I'll be sure to have a serious talk about the situation he's in. Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. Everyone's giving you the cold shoulder. Yep. That's what having a criminal record does to you. Turns out your past follows you wherever you go. By the way, if you get expelled now, I won't hesitate to kick you out. Got it? 
I think I'll scrape by. No, I don't think he wants to hear that right now. School never changes, huh? Come on, we're going home. What a troublesome situation. I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me. A male teacher would be better suited for this. And why are you two gossiping about my private life like this? Why in the world was someone like that admitted here? Who knows? It was the principal's decision. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough to cover that. That's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. Well, I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. Wow, you are gonna be teacher of the year. With that attitude. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. I'm glad you realize it. Well, I should be returning to practice. Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? <laughs> Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team, too. Yes, that's true. Why did it have to be my class? Why do you keep complaining about it? Ugh, traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. That tone says, I'm tired of wasting my gas on you. Unless you got gas money, you ain't getting no more rides. So, how was it? The school, I mean. You think you can manage? <laughs> it seems fun. It'll be tough. Eh, we'll see. I'm really feeling eh, we'll see. Because I don't want to say this. He's going to feel the sarcasm. Listen up. Still, you were expelled once already. <laughs> to think you'd re-enroll at a different one. It's not like anyone will be sympathetic with you. If that's what it was like at school, people might say stuff about me in the future, too. What a troublesome kid I've taken in. Yes, why did you take me in? Since you're gonna complain so much. I was asked to do it, and I just happened to agree to it. Uh-huh. Uh, I've already been paid for it, too, after all. And now, back to today's top stories. A subway train has derailed, severely affecting the timetable across all of... Oh, another accident. So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. In fact, there was a real sad one just last month. It happened before you came here. If I remember right, the girl that passed away was only 15. Her parents have got to be just... All traffic around Shibuya Station is being redirected due to the accident. So, drivers should expect jam-packed streets. Oh, come on. It's- a, I hate- I always hate that when you get told something but you're experiencing it right now, so you're like, Oh, that would have been helpful to know about 20 minutes ago, radio guy.
Can you imagine being on that train right now? Ew. Oh my god. It's less of an operating accident and more of a crime of the company and the government. Site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. There's no way they can hide. This will go all the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, concern is spreading among the general public. Just what could be causing such a drastic change so suddenly in these people? SNN has Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? Hmm. Oh well. Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. God dang, the boss trying to pull the moves on her? I was ready to go for this meeting. And that's when this extremely fast train just came crashing in. Oh man, I thought I was gonna die. A noisy subway platform filled with people when suddenly... Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You are making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Aww. He's like, oh, I want, f I want fancy tuna. <laughs> Damn, to think there'd be that much traffic. What a waste of time. I wasn't able to open the cafe today. Whatever. Just head upstairs. There's something I need to give to you. Talk about a gruesome accident. 80 people were involved. Here's a diary. Make sure you keep it up to date. You may be under probation. There's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Besides following the law, that is. However, I'm obligated to report on you, which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. Hey, what's up? I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry. I'll be there in no time. Huh? I'll see you soon. Well, I'm off. I'll lock the place up. So do whatever you want for the rest of the night. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. You got school tomorrow. You better head off to bed, all right? He said that's for my daily activities to like basically tattle on my own self. But it's not like I'm gonna write in there like, I punched a man today. And then I stole his wallet. Like, do you really think I'm gonna write down if I did something actually bad into the diary? Uh, okay, let, let's move on. I should do as I'm told for now. You can save your game by pressing options when you see the button command in the lower left. You can save it anytime. I need to get up early tomorrow. I should get plenty of rest today. 
and with that ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna have to end the video right here hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys did then please don't forget to give it a big like or subscribe to the channel for more bye see you later